Before we get to this episode, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of Ray for listening and to let you in on a little secret. You can now get the entire Depression Baby audiobook for free at raybrogers.com forward slash audible. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E. And you'll get a free month of Audible, the premier audiobook service, which works on every gadget, phone, computer, whatever that you have. Again, just go to raybrogers.com forward slash audible, or just look in the show notes for this episode. Depression Baby. Stories about growing up in Appalachia and other things, too. With my dad, Ray B. Rogers. On August 16th, 1929, I came into this world kicking and screaming. I reckon that made me a Depression Baby. Depression Baby is a World Songs media production. Brought to you by Depression Baby the Book. Available in Kindle, paperback, and hardcover. And soon audiobook at raybrogers.com. Today, Ray tells us about a prank played by his uncle, John Rogers. When my uncle John Rogers became a young man, he earned some money, possibly by selling a 4-H club steer, and bought himself a car. This was probably in the late 1930s. Just like young drivers today, he probably didn't like obstacles to get in his way and slow him down too much. The gravel road leading to his home on Crabtree Creek was enough of an impediment. But then there was this lady who lived near the road who owned a flock of chickens. As chickens are wont to do, some of them might decide to do some pecking in the roadway, or they might decide to cleanse themselves with a little dust bath. They might even have a nest nearby, and they might lay an egg and come off the nest cackling loudly for all the world to know their accomplishment. After all, it is no small feat to manufacture one of nature's most perfect foods and present it to us in a unique little package, and even do this on almost a daily basis. So why not walk out into the road and do a little bragging? Of course, John had to slow down or even come to a stop while the little feathered friends took their own sweet time getting out of his way, while haughtily resenting this intrusion. John didn't want to run over the chickens or create a baked chicken dinner for the lady. The lady surely knew the owner of almost every vehicle which drove by her place, and each one probably received a friendly wave. Therefore, discretion was in order. Most of the drivers in those days weren't in a hurry anyway, as we are today, and consequently it made little difference for them to slow down a bit. Besides, driving too fast also stirred up too much dust. However, the impetuousness of youth took over, and the creative mind of John had to find a solution to this ongoing problem. Well, John went to the corn crib and got a bucket of shell corn, and then got some of his mother's thread, on which he strung a kernel of corn about ever 12 to 18 inches apart. He subsequently drove slowly by the house of the chicken lady and threw out the bucket of corn into the roadway. The chickens were delighted to find this feast and quickly began pecking at the corn and swallowing it down into their little crawls, where food is normally held to await a digestive process, beginning with orderly deposits into their little gizzards. It wasn't long before the lady discovered that her chickens were uniquely and effectively sewn together. Of course, John had to return to the scene of the crime shortly to determine the effectiveness of his maneuver. And this was what he saw. The lady was out there with her scissors, frantically snipping away to separate her tightly woven flock of chickens. I reckon John invented something new to the world, chicken on a string. We hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Depression Baby. And if you did, my dad has one important request. If this podcast brought a little smile to your day, would you please consider right now subscribing for free to the podcast and kindly leaving a nice five-star rating and review on iTunes. You can make the difference in getting Depression Baby in front of a wider audience and help preserve this disappearing legacy. 
Also, you can get the entire audiobook of Depression Baby, the complete stories, for free at rabyrogers.com forward slash audible. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E. Thanks to our audio and musical contributors, including our friend Lobo Loco. You can find out more about him and all the rest of the music and audio in the show notes at, you guessed it, rabyrogers.com. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on the Depression Baby Podcast.